So finally, we are able to start working on our game, analyze database, and find all those mistakes. And in order to do that, firstly, we need to import the HUD. So if you haven't downloaded it, do this now, and then we will able to simply import it. It's pretty straightforward and easy. All you have to do is open your holder manager. In your home tab, choose HUD settings. Uh, wait until it pop up and then simply import the HUD here. It's pretty straightforward as I said uh, Find the HUD where it is on your desktop in any other place uh, Simply click it. It's going to be named HUD review and then open It's going to give you some pop-ups most likely uh, and if you're going to get those just simply click yes and uh, it asking do you want to override the file so most of those files you are not going to have so it's not going to be so many pop-ups or maybe none at all but if you get those overwrite it and it is important to get all of these updated pop-ups that are mine um, otherwise you will not be able to get uh, most of the stats so when this is done it's probably going to take a couple of seconds depending on your database. Well, my database are huge, so it really takes a few seconds, but probably it's going to be a little bit faster on your place. It asked me to override the file just because I had this HUD before, so you're not going to get the pop-up uh, like that as well. And that is it. It is as simple as that. You already have the HUD. Uh, you have all the stats that are necessary to start reviewing your game. As I said before, um, HUD is going to give you a very, very good view on how you play, what are the most important leagues that you could have, and what potential errors. So we have it, and now we can jump into learning what stats do you actually have. Firstly, I want to cover the stats of the HUD. So when you already imported it, we just going to open any random hand here and choose the HUD to display. So you can simply open any hand as said, or oh, it opened on my other screen. So I'm just going to move it here. Great. Again, as I said, it's going to take a few seconds for me because the database is huge. Um, and when you have the HUD here, um, it's already selected for me. If you have other HUD set as your standard, click this arrow and choose the HUD for review. And then you're going to have a pop-up like this, um, the HUD like this, and you can see all the stats. So what I want to do firstly is go over the pre-flop stats and post-flop stats. Well, basically, I'm going to explain you what all these stats means and how we will be using the HUD. So, okay, first line is pretty straightforward. VPIP, preflop raise, uh, nothing too special, name and number of hands that we have. Then, free bet, how much you are free betting in general, how much you're folding to free bet in general, 4 betting, folding to 4 bet, 5 betting, and folding to 5 bet. Well, these are general stats, uh, but we're going to have some pop ups when clicking on it. But we will go over that a little bit later when we will be analyzing the the game so now I will show you just the meaning of these stats uh, another line is raise first in I specifically left the names for you to be a little bit easier so this is a uh, early position middle position uh, cutoff button and small blind raise first in percent and the stat here that is separated uh, fold to free bet from small blind it means how much you're folding to free bet when opening from the small blind and after that is limp then cutoff and button lines are going to be the same so I'm going just to say it once so this is how much you open from this position how much you're folding to free bets how much you are for betting and how much you're folding to five bets then all these stats are pretty straightforward for the names uh, this is dong bet squeeze and isolate isolate means uh, how much you raise when someone limps before you uh, next line is how you're playing blinds versus a button so first stat is 24 how much you're calling from the big blind versus a button open how much you are uh, free betting from the big blind versus a button open and another same stats from the small blind how much you're calling and how much you're free betting then same stats uh, from the blinds versus cutoff how much you are calling from the big blind how much you are free betting from the big blind versus cutoff open and same from the small blind uh, another line blind versus blind how much you call from the big blind and free bet versus small blind open and another stat is the same as this one uh, how much you opening from the small blind 
and the blue stat is small blind steel success. This is essential set that you actually want to have not only when reviewing your game but when playing as well uh, because you really want to know how much big blind is folding and as we see in these games people are massively over folding uh, so you really should be opening a lot of the hands. And in the hut we, we have two more lines that is uh, flop turn and river seabeds. The first line is in single race pots and the last line is in free bet pots. So how much you are sea betting on the flop, how much you are sea betting, uh, folding to sea bets on the flop, uh, on the turn and on the river, same stats. So these are the hot stats that we're going to be using uh, for analyzing our game and we're going to talk more about pop-ups uh, when we actually going to be using them. So this is the most important part that you need to know uh, for the stats. Another thing that I really want to mention here is color coding system. It really lets you quickly spot the mistakes. Basically, when you have a red stat, it means it is too high. When you have a green stat, it means it is too low. And orange means it's pretty reasonable. So uh, probably you are not having a lot of troubles in that spot, most likely. Um, to be honest, especially in lower stay games, if you have a green stat, it doesn't necessarily mean you're doing something wrong if you have it in the right place, of course. Because if you need to, if you would want to have all the um, orange numbers, it would mean you need to be very balanced in every single spot. And in some low games, it doesn't necessarily is the case to, for the best line. So maybe you want to be bluffing more if people are folding too much. Maybe you want to be for betting more. And actually, for betting is a good example. Especially in low games, most of the time people folding way, way too much to for bets. So for betting more aggressively, um, let's say for betting something like 18%, that would surely be a red here in this spot would probably not be a mistake, but if you have these stats, red, green, or even orange, and you're not sure, we can simply check this out. So we see this guy is for betting 10%, so let's quickly do it. I, I do have a stat of for bet success, and his for bet success is 34. It's not too much. Um, so probably he's not choosing the good hands, maybe he's not for betting with blockers, or he's not for betting uh, against the right positions and right opponents, but you can very easily have much higher for bet success and be using more, more hands as a, as a for bet bluff. So it goes like that. You know the stats, and now we're going to start actually analyzing this and fighting mistakes in your game. 